Hi, today I am here with a new video about one of the most important reagent available in our laboratories. It's ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid, generally known as EDTA. It's a polyprotic acid. By polyprotic, it means a specific acid that is capable of losing more than a single proton per molecule in acid-base reaction. It finds wider application in medical science. It's used to prevent blood clotting, uh, lead poisoning, also used to prevent bacteria from forming a biofilm. Let's have a look at its structure as you can see. It has four carboxylic acid groups and two amine groups. Uh, it coordinates uh, with metal by six electron pair. It's colorless as you can see. It's hexadendrate ligand and a powerful chelating agent. Its ability to sequester metal ions such as calcium and iron ions uh, after being uh, bound in EDTA into metal complex, metal ions remain in solution but exhibit diminished reactivity. EDT is produced as several salts, notably disodium EDTA and calcium disodium EDTA. Now I'm going to tell you about how you can prepare a standard EDTA solution. For the analysis of calcium, uh, magnesium ions in water or preparation of metal complexes and I must tell you it's because of it is complex formation such type of titration are referred as complexometric titration. For a standard solution of uh, 0.01 molar EDTA you need to weigh 3.723 gram disodium salt of EDTA uh, having molecular weight 372.25 gram. Now weigh 3.723 gram of EDTA. Uh, let me tear the weight of paper first and set the balance at zero. Now I need to weigh already I told you 3.723 gram of this EDTA. Now it's uh, 3.723 uh, gram of EDTA. You need to dissolve it in distilled water in a measuring flask and uh, make up the volume up to 1 liter with distilled water. In next video, we will learn about formation of solution and site titration and complex formation. Please like, share and subscribe my channel.